Hey y'all, welcome back to Lisa Michelle, Beyond the Scale Health Journey. Well, I woke up this morning and to my surprise, I got a 172 blood sugar, which is amazing for me. Because my blood sugar on September the 6th was 400. So, I'm doing really well and consistent and... My blood pressure is a whole bunch better. That was 131 over 82. And when I got there, it was 235 over 115. So I am just ecstatic, y'all. I'm just like, wow. Consistency. And I was 207 pounds when I arrived at the hospital on September 6th. This morning, I was 193. Point six. Do you know I was in the 195s forever? In the 198s, and then 194, and then back to 195. Then I made 193 today, so point six. So I'm happy, I'm moving along, I'm eating right, I'm being consistent. I had kind of a, a light dinner last night. So I noticed that that made all the difference in my blood sugar. I'll usually have like um, some grilled chicken and grilled chayote squash and some collard greens for dinner. But instead I had those, um, you know, those zoodles, the spirals zoodles that you uh, make out of the uh, squash and different vegetables. It's supposedly pasta, but you know it's a lie. It's vegetables spiraled up, but hey, got to trick your mind somehow and I have a vegan friend that works at the supermarket where I live and I was asking her so what kind of uh, marinara sauce do you all use you know for your um, pasta or whatever you're eating and she said you know it was a one brand I can't remember the brand but she said it's good it's vegan but uh, she said you know what's better because I'm trying to control my um, sodium so she said, make your own marinara sauce. And I said, shoot, why not? I like to cook. I said, let's go for it, shall we? So I got my tomatoes and everything and washed them and cut them in slices and put them in a bowl and put some olive oil, about a tablespoon or two, uh, olive oil, dried oregano, dried thyme, uh, garlic powder, and Mrs. Dash and some pepper. So I mixed that all up and I put it in uh, on a baking sheet and I put it in the oven at 400, it could be 450, but I was making uh, roasted garlic so I didn't have time to be adjusting no temperatures, child. <laughs> We're going to be two for one. Anyway, I grilled those, um, broiled those tomatoes up and when I tell you, my goodness, put them up in they taste so sweet when they're uh, roasted so I put them in the blender and blended them all up and boom I had freaking tomato sauce for my zoodles girl I felt like I was eating spaghetti on the low lows because it was low low it was so good so basically I had that and I roasted some what do you call uh, little circles doing it again y'all um brussels sprouts and i roasted those and they came out to perfection so i had five of those roasted y'all this is part of the uh stroke that i had in my mind i could see what i want to say but it's just it's cycling so <laughs> i have five of the roasted brussels sprouts and my zoodles with my homemade marinara sauce and child it was good so i basically had a light dinner um I'm trying to think what did i have for lunch lunch i had the chicken and the chayote squash and then for breakfast i had one egg whipped up with uh three tablespoons of egg white which is equivalent to another egg and I made my Lokito bread that I make, and I had two rolled up um, thinly sliced turkey slices with some Gouda cheese. 
So I had that for breakfast yesterday, and I always have tea with each one of my meals because it's relaxing. I gave up coffee. I'm trying to really do better for myself. You know, when you almost die, the game is new. The game is new. So I just want to uh, say that. I'm going to have this this morning. I have had this in my pantry. I have a lot of it because I wasn't really, um, <laughs> wasn't really drinking it. But it's protein and kale. It's chocolate flavor. I'm going to use almond milk and mix it up. Serving size is one scoop, 150 calories. Sodium is 390, which is more than my liquid aminos, y'all. And the sugars, let me see. Sugars are 5 grams, carbohydrates 11. I think I can do that if that's what I have for breakfast, so... That's what this is what I'm going to have for breakfast and try something new and then eat for um, lunch and dinner and see how that goes. I might boil an egg or something and um, have that for a mid-afternoon snack or something or other. So, anywho, I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm doing better. And I'm sitting outside. Let you get a look at. So... This is me with my stomach held in, which you can't really tell too much. Now, this is me with my stomach out. <sighs> yeah, so it still looks like I'm getting ready to give birth, child. I'm 54. I ain't hardly had no baby popped up in here, child. If you know me, you know I don't got no baby up in here. So we're going to do a little reference photo at another time, reference video, and we're going to see how much better my waistline looks it looks better already because my stomach was like out to here like girl i was getting ready to do be do any minute now so but that's that's how i look and i'm sitting on my oh, on my walker i serve myself breakfast on this walker so you're doing pretty good with this walker but you all have a lovely day i figured i'd come out and do my video on the porch everyone in the house is asleep and it's just rude and loud to um be talking all over everybody while you're um, making a video early in the morning. Nobody want to hear all that, you know? Mm. So, with that being said, oh, and I'm, I'm back to making my jewelry, y'all. You see this? I can't eat any cupcakes, but I can most certainly make them. I made this out of polymer clay. And they're so very darling. So, I have hamburgers and I have pizza. I like food jewelry. I've been making food jewelry, but it, it relaxes me. So, I even got a couple of um, ink pens from, um, gel pens from Daiso Japan. If you know about Daiso Japan, it's a really lovely Japanese store where they have stuff that you don't, you can't get here. You probably can, but you got to look really hard. But it's all in one place. Everything's $1.64 unless otherwise stated. But um, I got these gel pens, and they smell amazing. They smell like um, watermelon. They smell like cupcakes, cotton candy, all that kind of stuff. And for some strange reason, it's really making me feel good. It's The smell is, is pleasing to me. So if you can't eat cupcakes, because I love cupcakes. Anybody know me? I love some cupcakes, child. You can wear your cupcakes. You can smell your cupcakes. Just don't eat those cupcakes because they're the death of you. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to cut this video. It's been about nine minutes. I hope you all stayed to the very end. I will be checking in again. And you have a lovely, lovely day. And take care of yourself. Oh, remember to drink your water. I'm telling myself, too. I had one whole big glass of water yesterday. I had to choke it down. I'm going to have to do something. Anyway, one step at a time, one step at a time. Have a lovely, lovely day, and I love you all, and thank you for checking in on my page. <laughs>